I'm Bianca. And I'm Grant. And, and this, this is, is the Lake, Lake House Project. All right, guys. So today we're going to be starting the demo of the kitchen and kind of a lot to do. I uh, just wanted to go over some tools that you might need and some tips and tricks along the way. So first off, you're going to want to get yourself like a large garbage uh, can as well as some contractor bags because there's going to be a lot of debris and a lot of garbage to throw in there. Um, you know, might not need a sledgehammer this big, but this is a 10 pounder. You can also get some smaller sizes, but this helps if things uh, need a little bit of uh, extra force. We also have a large crowbar to pry things. This, the longer the crowbar, the more leverage you have, so it's nice to have a long one. This is a rubber mallet for like some smaller items that might not need this, this large of a sledgehammer. Um, and then also, some things that you might have to consider speci specifically when doing a kitchen demolition is thinking about all the electrical outlets and making sure that those are turned off before you start the demolition as well as there's a lot of water sources in your kitchen as well. For instance, we have the dishwasher, the sink, and the fridge, as well as potentially a gas line going to your stove. So all of those things need to be addressed before you start whacking or things can go wrong very quickly. Um, so anyway, let's get started. All right, so first I'm going to be taking off all the cabinet doors and pulling out all of the drawers to make the cabinets a lot lighter for when they are taken out. Uh, and it'll just make it a lot easier. I can probably get access to the screws that are holding a lot of the cabinets to the back wall. And if you want to purchase any of these tools for your own demolition, I'll have Amazon links down in the description. All right, I think that's the last of them. There's kind of two schools of thought with a demolition. You can do a bunch with a drill and just take things apart slowly, or you can use a sledgehammer and then just start breaking things really quickly. I think it's a lot cleaner. Uh, to do it with a drill, especially if it's just one person. I'm probably going to try and take down the roof first, then start taking down the upper cabinets with the drill if I can, and if not, I'll use a sledgehammer where necessary, and then kind of work my way down because uh, the sink and stove and dishwasher, I don't really, I'm like not looking forward to doing those, so I'm going to try and do everything up top first and then work my way to the stuff I don't exactly want to do. So anyway, let's get to it. And if you can't get enough of this DIY content, we also have a TikTok and Instagram at Golden Key Design for more real-time updates. Now back to the video. All right, let's clean up a little bit. All right, so now I'm in the process of taking out this fridge, and since there's a water line connected, I gotta be careful before I fully unplug it. So the water line comes in right here, it's this copper pipe, and then it goes down into the basement. I followed it over here, that pops back up. So again, it's a little hard to see, but it pops back up here and connects to the spigot up here. And as you can see, that's dripping because I just flushed the line. I turned the water off downstairs, and then let it run until nothing else came out to make sure that there is no water left in the line. And then just to verify, I put this to water and I pressed it to get some water and nothing is coming out. So that means that the line is now clear of water, I can unplug it and there's not gonna be water going all over the floor now. Just so we can have still somewhat of a kitchen while this is being renovated, I'm gonna pop out this microwave and not just throw it out. I'm gonna bring it downstairs and use that to cook my meals for the time being. In order to see where these lights are being run up here in this roof, I'm gonna try and take this cabinet out so I can kind of see up in there because it's kind of getting annoying to take this out. Now we're getting somewhere. 
Demo, yeah. Here it comes, I know it. Look out down below, this is gonna be interesting. Woo! Finally. Look at all these nails. I do not want to get hit by one of those. I figured out that it was screwed in up top. Um, they had to take out the roof in order to access the screw. What do you know? Now I just gotta cut this electrical cord for this under cabinet light and then it'll come out nice and easy. Oh. Well, they're nice and light. I made a particle board, so that's nice. Oh, there it goes! Okay. <laughs> anywhere else where this is attached so I'm just gonna hit it a couple times where it's attached to the countertop and see what happens. It. If you guys are enjoying the video so far I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a like as it definitely helps the YouTube algorithm and allows me to reach a bigger audience and also if you haven't already please subscribe we have new DIY videos every single Saturday and you'll be able to stay up to date on our progress on this lake house we got lots more content coming your way so stay tuned Alright, so as you guys saw, we were able to take out pretty much all those upper cabinets over there and, and the roof. <laughs> that was tough. Um, rather than going now to the lowers, I think I'm just going to continue along this route, get all of this roof and all these just cabinets because this will be nice and easy. And then once that's all clear, I can get into the nitty gritty of figuring out the whole water situation and sink and dishwasher and all that. Hopefully this roof goes a little bit smoother than the other one, but we'll see. Alright, let's get to it. And leave a comment down below, pro roof or anti roof? Let me know. So for those of you that are going to go the drill route as opposed to the full just knock down everything, uh, you're mainly going to be wanting to look for screws in the back of your cabinet at the top and then sometimes there might be a few down here at the bottom and then usually the two upper cabinets and lower cabinets are going to be screwed in to one another. So you can see here there's a screw there connecting these two cabinets going through here. So you got to unscrew these, unscrew those, unscrew those and in this case there's even some up top, so you just gotta check <laughs> kind of everywhere. You'll know when it's loose. It'll either fall on its own or you just give it a little bit of a push and it'll come down. Alright, I think we're gonna call it 
quits for day one of the kitchen demo. As you guys saw, we were able to take out pretty much all these uppers as well as the whole right half of the kitchen. Um, really happy with the progress for today. But we got a glued in mirror over here, so this will be fun to take out. Uh, tomorrow, the plan is to take out this entire island. And then we got to demo all of this as well. And we got the dishwasher and the sink here. Uh, so I gotta figure out the whole water situation, make sure that that's all tied away before I start hitting things. We're gonna take out all this um, backsplash, as well as probably cut about four feet up of drywall all the way across. And actually, maybe not this wall, but for sure this wall, as the new kitchen is gonna be a galley kitchen going from here to here. There won't be any cabinets on this side. This is where the new staircase is gonna be. Uh, but the reason you want to cut away the drywall is to see the electrical and plumbing and get access to that stuff for the new kitchen uh, so that can be all put in place before we put new drywall back on top of it. Uh, but overall I think a crowbar and a drill are your best friends and most utilized tools and then a sledgehammer just in case you need a little bit extra force. But that's really all you need for demo and just being safe about it and making sure like electrical and all that's not on so you don't accidentally shock yourself. But yeah, really happy with today's progress. And let's get started with day two. One, two, three. And we're back, day two. I think we're gonna start with the island, take this out, and then we're gonna work on these cabinets back here. Let's get started. Unfortunately, you gotta wait till next week to watch part two of this kitchen demo, but it may already be live depending on when you're watching this. But anyway, we got a lot more to do. We gotta take out all the cabinets, the tile, as well as these beams up top. And as always, thanks for watching, happy building, and see you next week. Bye-bye.